There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas Taking over the world I'm not really sure what you want to sh call it, but I wanted to try out this hairspray, okay? First of all, I want to thank my subscriber for sending me a message, a comment about a new particular hairspray. It's not even new. It's been out for a while, but because I was talking about trying out some different hairspray, so excuse me because I just got the shower. And it's kind of early. It's not really that early. It's 11 o'clock. Today's date. Today's date is January 12th and 2020. And it is 11.04. So it's January 12th. Okay. And it is 11.04 in the morning. Not really too early. Not really too late. Focus camera. So you guys, this is not a tutorial. I'm just trying something out. I'm going to give it a course of how many days it will last. I'm trying to hold on and wear this for as long as I can because I really don't wear my wigs as long like I used to anymore. Like maybe like a day, not like four or five days anymore because I get really hot and it becomes uncomfortable. So I'm going to try this out for as long as I can withstand wearing the wig. I do love to use this hairspray right here, which is the Got To Be Glam For. This is like my go-to hairspray. Prior to this, I was using the Pump It Up to install my lace wigs. Pump It Up is great because it does give a really good hold, but it's in a pump bottle, so it's really wet and sometimes it can get a little messy, but Pump It Up has been out forever, so that is like the number one holy grail hairspray. That's like the original to me. This, the Got To Be Glam Force, I love it much better than the Freeze blast i've used the freeze blast like 10 years ago did not hold any hairstyles so i figured why even bother this stuff works amazing to me it holds much better than the freeze blast you know i can't really compare this particular hairspray to the freeze blast because i don't use got to be yellow can freeze blast at all i don't even use the gel like that but this is high hold hairspray like this stuff is like the bomb okay and it's like five dollars ulta used to sell it they don't anymore i had to get it from amazon i bought three cans for 18 bucks which is good because some people are trying to sell this for like 35 dollars like not not happening i wanted to try something different because you know sometimes you gotta switch it up just because and i was told to give bedhead a try now first of all this is the hard head this stuff is not cheap it's 20 dollars in ulta 20 dollars for a 10 ounce 10.6 ounce can $20 is not a, a lot, and it's not a little bit, but it's a lot for a hairspray can. If you go on Amazon, you can see people selling this for like $100 a can, $35 per can. No, I bought three cans on Amazon. Three can bundle deal for $25 after taxes, $28. Um, I'm not sure if that's only for Prime members, but that's what I got. And it actually came from the actual TG or TG company, you know, they're the vendor. So three cans for $25, $10. Um, yeah, three cans for $25 after taxes, you know what I'm saying? It does ship free because it's with Prime, but there's taxes on it. So anyway, like I was saying, I ordered this on, um, I ordered this on Friday. It wasn't too early. It was probably like 9 o'clock in the morning. And I got this on Saturday, yesterday. It is Sunday, January 12th. Okay, so it's January 12th. And it's 11.08 a.m. And when this, when this came to me yesterday, I was doing, I was doing my makeup for a video, to do a video, but... My makeup didn't come out great, so I was frustrated, and I have had had it. So I just was like, you know what? I'm not doing no video today. I'm going to test out this bedhead. Let's see how this really works, okay? So I went and I reinstalled my RPG show Kinky Straight Full Lace. I love this unit. Hair texture is beautiful. And plus, the actual lace is undetectable. It's damn near invisible. Yesterday, I started applying this to my lace my lace wig it was 5 30 ish okay it was in between that time and now it is over um it's more than 12 hours okay what is it it's over 12 hours i'll just put the time below but it's over 12 hours and you know i had to sleep in it of course um this wig is just beautiful and i installed it and then i pressed it and all that stuff on my head so when I installed this using this hairspray product, I did not use my blow dryer. I just wanted to just do something different. So I did not use the blow dryer at all to dry the product. Sometimes I feel like when you use the blow dryer, to me, it makes the actual product 
more flaky or just you, you might be able to see the residue more so i just decided to just let it dry on its own naturally so what i did was you know i just sprayed a little bit on the lace underneath and a little bit on certain spots on the top and then i just let it dry a little bit and then i you know used my rat tail comb and just stuck it down but i didn't do it all at once i just had to do little sections but all together for me to apply this entire wig took me about i would say 30 minutes because like i said i had to sit there and press until it was you know dry dry so it dries quick but you don't want to put a lot you could layer it if you want to i ended up doing that right here on the sides on this side where my sideburns is at now this is the problematic area for uh, probably not just me but for everybody and it always will lift by the end of the night the day the mid-afternoon it'll lift a little bit it's even with my favorite hairspray but that doesn't bother me as long as all this stays together girl i'm good so i layered it right here this is the spot that took me the longest because i had to basically make sure it was super dry on it and underneath and then i went over it again and again so i layered it three times okay and right here i just used for the front i just used like in some sections just one layer and in some sections two layers but so it didn't lift the only part that did lift a little tad bit is right here and that's because this side I didn't I didn't layer side at all it was good I wasn't trying to do anymore this is the outcome of just spraying it once and not doing it like multiple times versus this one this is stuck down and also this side is more stuck down than here well you know what this is not even going anywhere it's just this spot so far so good you will need at least three layers or two on the sideburn hairs because this is the side that your head probably moves the most i'm not sure i don't know um it dries like decent time man. i'm not saying it's, it doesn't dry super quick i think the got to be glam force dries way quicker in my opinion you can use a blow dryer i just didn't want to use a blow dryer so you know i was trying to see if it would just dry a lot more clearer without the heat added to it the wig is still looking good and all I did was just sleep with my headscarf and my bonnet on. So I'm going to just reapply some more on this side right here. Look at this lace, you guys. Like, for real. This is RPG show. Bomb ass wig. And then I'll just take some of the hairspray. And I know it's just a comb tip, but it works. Because I don't want to spray it all over. And I'll just take a little bit and spray it on the tip of the comb like you see there's product on it and that's good enough so that way it don't be messy and i was about to touch up some sides but then i was like no that's that just defeats the whole purpose of this experiment and then i'm gonna add another layer and that was in between the part. So there's no hair right here where I sprayed. But you definitely want to make sure that you stick down the ear pieces over here because those do flap up. So I think, like I said, this part is where you need like extra, extra layers. Okay, definitely on the sideburn. And that's with any other product. And I just go in between the hairs. And like I said, it doesn't dry that quick. I do think, I really do honestly believe like this dries much faster. This hold is a little bit better. This is extra strong hold hairspray. This one is long lasting high hold hairspray. 48 hour hold. This one doesn't give a time frame. All right guys, it's pretty tacked down. January 12th, I will come back tomorrow or later on today to show you guys an update. If I remember, okay. All right, you guys, so this is the end of the night, same day. It's still January 12th and it's 9.51 and the wig is still holding up. Hairspray's still holding up. This side is stuck down. Still really strong still. So this is how I'm going to, well, this is how I tie it up at night. And then I'm just gonna put my, my scarf on around the front and then my bonnet. See how it looks in the morning. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, YouTube family. Okay, this is day two with the hairspray. Okay, so you seen how I wrapped it up last night, and it's still looking really good, you guys. Look, 
I don't see any liftage yet. Let me not, like, we're not about to stay here and pull like a maniac. But, okay, you guys. So, day two with this wig on with the bedhead hairspray. Loving it. And, <clears throat> Like I said, it's January 13th, Monday, 9.55 now, and it's January 13th. This is my beautiful son, Wuzzle, who passed away. So anyway, um, let me just take a moment. So like I was saying, this is the second day with this hairspray. And it's actually holding up so good. Like, oh my God, you guys, like, look. I want to zoom in, but I'm scared to. Like, I don't want to get all freaking too close. And y'all be like, girl, back up some. But no residue. These are just my little hairs. You know, I just brush it back. But look, even the side. I told you guys, you got to put like, for this side right here, you definitely want to put like at least two to three layers don't just put one because your head movement here will definitely pull it up so you definitely have to put like at least a few couple of sprays because this side has yet to lift up and i'm so amazed because this side will not stay down ever so i was gonna do a video today i was gonna do a video review today on, on a wig but being that this is stuck on my head i'm not girl i ain't about to review nothing not now because I'm not about to take this wig off. I guess I'll just edit a video. Though I could vlog, but I'm not even going anywhere. So, like, you know, you guys, like, I don't really vlog that much anymore because after my son passed away, I don't really do too much. Um, I'm still trying to get my life back together after he passed. So, yeah, my lips are so dry. Oh, my God. I look so ashy. Like, my lips is dry. I'm about to put me on a face mask, girl. But, yeah, so I will come back tonight and let you guys know how it looks and how it's been holding up. When you have a favorite wig, you definitely want to keep it on. See you later. All right, you guys. So it is still January 13th, and it is now 8.27 p.m. So this afternoon, I had to put away the Christmas decorations. Yeah, I was a little late. I hate taking them down. So I was outside taking them down and I started sweating. So it did lift, like it didn't lift all the way, but it just got a little loose right here. So all I did was come in after I finished my work because I started sweating. You know, it's hot, it's Arizona. Um, and even though the weather was like, probably like 65, I was moving really quick, so I started sweating. And it did lift just like a little bit right here. But all I did was come back in and tie my scarf down, and it's fine. So, you know, it started lifting also here, just like back here a little bit. But like I said, once I tied the scarf down, it was fine. And it just stuck back because of the moisture from my, you know, because I was sweating. And it's still holding tight. So this is, what is this, day two? Let me see. Yep, day two. Yeah, see, you can see that little piece right there, right here. But I'm not going to respray it. I'm just, you know, going to leave it. It just left like a little tiny bit of flakage. But it's still stuck down now. So we'll see. It is... Now 8.28 p.m., so I'm going to get ready and take a shower. I look, I'm hot, messy, you know. I just want to go take a shower and go lay down, like, seriously. So, yeah. Good night. What's up, you guys? So this is day three, wearing this bedhead hairspray. Um, Yeah, it's early. In the, well, it's not too early. It's 10 o'clock. I had some errands to run like I do every single morning. You know what I mean? I got to bring my kids to school and my grandson to his daycare school. So I start off the morning at 730. Then after I dropped them all off, I went to, what did I go first? I went to the weight doctor. Because I started that again. 
And then I went to the post office to mail off some packages. And then I went to my favorite place in the entire world. Well, no, it's not my favorite place in the entire world. Why am I lying? It's Dunkin' Donuts. So, yeah, I went and got my iced coffee and I'm back. Okay, got to make up the bed. Got to make up my bed. I got a new comforter set from Burlington. Girl, you guys to go to Burlington. They got some really cute comforters for cheap, girl. Like, seriously, for cheap. So, Pancake is outside. Right, Panny? Pancake is outside right there. I don't know if you guys can see her. It's way too much sun. Yeah, y'all can't see her. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so let's check out this wig because this is day three. And so this morning, I'm going to... Oh, come on, light. Mm, this is... There. Let's see. I'm sorry about the bad lighting. Um, so... It is, what's today? January 14th, and it is 10.05 a.m. in the morning. It is day three, you guys, wearing this wig with the hairspray bedhead focus camera. Like, really focus. Okay. So, day three wearing this wig with bedhead, and I'm loving my RPG show wig. Like, I was really going to do some videos yesterday, but I couldn't because I'm dedicated to seeing how long I could wear this. Like, seriously. I really want to try this out and see how long I could wear it. So, first of all, um, where is it at? Because I figure if I move the camera this way, you get the natural sunlight, which is a lot better. So, it doesn't look so yellow. So, this is, hopefully you guys can see that. Can you guys see that? So, this is where it kind of like got loose. A little bit like I was telling you guys from yesterday but other than that it's still like holding down like for real this is tight even this little piece I think it's this little piece let me see oh my bad it's over here you see it okay so that's the part that lifted and for the life of me I swear I really want to just tack it down with some hairspray but I don't want to because I want to see how long it'll last but it's still really hard like it's it's like the edges came up a little bit right here but it's still like tacked down over here and that was because I sweated I was sweating yesterday doing my <sighs> boxing because it was boxing I had to take all of the um Christmas decor from outside like the what do you call those inflatables I had like five of them and the lights and I had to put those away and I was listen I was moving quickly because I just didn't feel like doing it and plus I had asked the girls I told the girls come help me and it was like okay and then let me tell y'all they came outside when I was done like anyway so that is the whole for today I will check back in with you guys tonight um, so far, so good. I'm going to go and edit a video. And first, I'm going to make my bed. Um, first, I'm going to make my bed and take a shower. And I'm going to put on a face mask, I think. Because, look, I barely got any sleep last night. And my eye is, this eye is, like, the worst for me. Oh, my God. If you guys know anything that will, like, help with puffiness under the eyes, could you please leave a comment below? Please. Because, I mean, I could try products that but i don't really some it's not that i don't trust them but you know they say it'll work and it doesn't work i want to hear from a real person so if you guys any of you guys have anything that you can recommend please help a sister out okay my lips are so dry right now like for real well i love you guys and i'll speak to you in a little bit yeah mm. All right, guys, so this is the evening. It is now 8.42 on the 14th of January, and this is day three with the bed head. So it still is just lifted in. Oh, wait. So now this is lifting. Okay, so the only part, <laughs> this side is still tagged down now. That's crazy. But once again, I was sweating today, and... Yep, that's what happened. 
So it all, I guess it all depends on your body temperature. So we're going to see what it looks like in the morning. I'm just going to put it up. But I really did want to see how long it held together without even having to take tack this down. So I might just still try it out without even doing anything to this. We shall see. But it's just lifted from right here to here. And that's because I was sweating again today. You know, I guess it just depends on your body temperatures. Like, seriously. Like, can you guys see that? That's where it lifted. Not bad, though. It's still, like, really, really stuck on the other side. But hmm, I get hot. So we shall see. So I'm going to go take me a shower, put my hair up, and relax for the rest of the night. And we'll see what this looks like in the morning. Good night. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Um, it is, it's Wednesday. It's 7.46 a.m. on the 15th of January. 7.46 a.m. Oh, I'm tired. It is 7.47, January 15th. I gotta leave in a second to bring Mumsy to school, but it still looks the same. It's just this one area right here. I don't know. I think I'm going to take it off. Because it's just, I can't wear it like this. She can stay home. What? She said that he texted her that she could stay home. But she has to go to the doctors. What is she talking about? I said in that message, she has to go to the, to the doctors. It's so clear. Read the message. Yeah, she knows that. She, she just can't stay here just to stay home. Anyway. Like I said, I think I'm about to take it off um, when I come home from dropping the kids off and stuff. Because, yeah. It was good, but I don't know, you guys. We'll see. But that's the lippage. This side don't never stay down for me. It's like mad early and my wig is lifted on one side. Whatever. It still look cute, though. Hey. See you guys later. All right, you guys. So, same day. It is now 8.23 on the 15th of January. So, I'm really thinking, like, tomorrow I'm going to just take it off because it has lifted, like, just, like, right here. This is still tacked down, and it feels like it's got a little bit looser on this side, but it's still tacked down right here, so I'm happy about that, but yeah, I'm going to take it off because I don't really want to walk around with the side flapping like this. I mean, you can't really see it because the hair is covered, and I did really want to wear it until it came off, came off, so I'm just going to take it off tomorrow in the morning. So I could do some more videos, but I think it had like its hold. So like it really honestly did hold good. You know, it really did. Um, I really do think though that they're kind of, I would, if I had to choose between the Gatsby and the Bedhead, I think I would probably still choose the Gatsby because it's a lot cheaper. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I think I would choose like the Gatsby because it's a lot cheaper and plus I don't really wear my wigs for four days anymore. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like a day or two. I just get really hot at night. I have hot flashes so and during the day. So wearing it all day and sleeping in it is not good for me. Especially at night. I get the hot I get hot flashes the most. So it's just so hot. Sometimes I have woken up and just took my wig off in the bed because I had gotten hot and it was the wig. So yeah, I don't I don't need like a hold for that long like the got to be glam force is a good hold for me it'll hold for like two days and sometimes even four too you know but you'll definitely have to keep retacking the sideburn part down but yeah i do like it though i mean i bought three cans for what was it 24 25 dollars from amazon uh, if I remember, I'll definitely put the link below. If I don't remember, just, you know, leave me a comment and remind me, and then I'll do it. Yeah, I think I'm going to take this off tomorrow, so we'll definitely see in the morning. But, you know, I like the fact that it didn't flake, because, like, look at the lace. Like, there's, like, no residue on the lace right here. Like, serious. It's really good. So I'm going to get in the shower. You know, I'm tired up, get in the shower, and I have such bad bags under my eyes. Oh, my God. But, yeah. So we'll see in the morning what it really looks like, okay? 
Hey you guys, I'm back again with the last bit of this freaking, I don't know what you want to call it, but I have been wearing this wig, was it been four days, five days, I don't remember, I think it's been four, I'll have to go back, okay, <laughs> but listen girls, it's time for it to come off for sure, you know, I did have a good wear with it, it is, um, you know, it's time, and um, yeah, it's just time, it's time for this to come off, it's my mom texting me. So it is January 16th and it is 10.58 a.m. Okay, so this is the last day of wearing this wig. Uh, I slept with it. Um, I didn't sleep with the hair out. I just, you know, untwisted it so I can go, you know, bring the kids to school. But I could feel it like tugging. Not really tugging, but on this side right here. Oh, no wonder. It lifted. Okay, because I was feeling like pulling all on my head. So it's time for it to come off now. Look. It had its run, you know? So let's see how easy this is to come off. I'm just taking my finger. Oh, look at that. This is how I take all my wigs off anyway with the that have hairspray. And if it's too stuck, I'll just put some water. But I've had it on so long. So let's see what it looks like. Oh, I know my hair underneath probably looks crazy. So I got a little bit of hairspray right there. I'm going to um clean it up and stuff. I wanted to do a video today, so it was time to take it off. I'm glad. Um, so this was my RPG show wig, and I love it so much. Guess I will wash it. But the good thing about this hairspray, when you use hairspray, unlike that gel, my lips look white. I'm, I'm thirsty. I got my DDs though. When um, unlike the gel. I don't like the gel. Like, that got to be gel is a mess. Like, seriously, it is a goddamn freaking mess. It just gets all over. And then the next day when you wake up, it seems like it just melts and gets squishy and gooey. So, you know, I don't... It's a goddamn mess. And the glue, too, to me, is a mess, too. I don't really even like to use the glue. I've used it quite a few times, but I'm not a fan of it. Now, the tape, the tape is good, too. I like the tape. I only use, like, one brand, one particular brand that will hold it down, Super Tape. But um, the hairspray is even better to me. At the end of the day, which one would I go to? Well, listen, I have three cans got to be, and I have three cans of that bedhead. So, best believe I'm going to use them all up until I buy anything else. But once I run out, which one would I prefer to go to? I probably would just stick with my got to be because like I said I don't really want my wigs to be on for days at a time only because I have really bad hot flashes especially at night you know due to you know I had surgery so I have I've had a full hysterectomy so I have pre-menopause and I'm so before my time I have menopause so you know that's the only reason why I'm not able to sleep with my wigs on at night like I used to or wear them for so long like I used to um but yeah, I would just probably stick with my got to be, you know, but I do like the bed head. Um, I like it especially because it tacked down the sides. So that's, that's definitely a plus. Um, you know, and I guess it just depends on the person and their preference, you know, and their body chemistry. So for me, you know, I'll stick with the got to be, um, maybe, maybe not, you know, it all depends. I know they're neither one of them are, uh, swim proof. So I'm pretty sure if you're getting a swim, Bitch, your wig is coming off, for real. So, you know, try, don't try that. They both work really good. And I, I would compare them kind of like similar. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say, like, the Got To Be Glam Force is, like, um a 7. And the bed head, I would say, would be, like, an 8. Only because it kept the sides tacked down. And it tacked it down. I would say the whole time is more or less a day more, in my opinion. My lips are so dry. My mouth is so dry. I'm gonna go, you guys. I love you. I know I look crazy right now, but I'm just saying, you know, you could still like rate, comment, subscribe, and just like be really nice and like share it with everybody. Okay? See you soon. Get them, spin them, but lunch in my shoe and the I put the rockets on them. Big bands can't bend them. Ops, we hit them. Fuck them off, we bend them.